Okay, so the United Kingdom no longer united and Scotland are going to take independence. England don't have to do much right now, but should keep themselves prepared for any upcoming wars that will probably happen. Scotland are now gaining independence of the United Kingdom, which are now split and no longer united. Scotland take control of, well, Scotland, and now are making a push into Wales. So they don't just make a tiny push into Wales, they actually take majority of Wales, in fact, all of Wales, out of Wales, and now making a tiny push into England, but England aren't going to have that. And now they're making a push into Scotland, and they take most of Wales... They don't, they're a bit smarter than that battle tactic. They didn't take all of Wales to save some resources. So England now are making a push into Scotland, which will not take too long. So Scotland just got a big chunk taken out of them and it won't be too long until they probably get annexed. But now Ireland gets into the war in favour of Scotland and annex Northern Ireland, which isn't too much of a task as England are fo- focusing on being Scotland. So Ireland take full control of Northern Ireland and now Scotland's about to get an X, which is Ireland's only teammate in this war. So now it's only going to be a matter of time before Scotland get an X in like three seconds, that is. And um, so now England take control of Wales. They're sending their ships over and bang, there it is. Ireland get a big chunk taken out of them. That's not going to be replaceable after a tiny bit you'd reckon and now the war really is on so England take control of a really another massive bit they don't really have to don't really have much on their hands and now there it is that's not much left to do and Ireland will be annexed France and Germany up next tune in for that one see ya